for some people with startups, it's often a very small team or like a team of one. And so there's this sort of me, me or us against the world aspect. The way I understand founder depression is that um, it can, it doesn't matter whether, it doesn't matter whether we're dealing with success or failure. We're, we're sort of, it's almost like postpartum, right? You know, a founder of a startup has this uh, birthing um, experience and this experience of, uh, you know, most startup people, uh, founders of businesses, uh, go through, and sometimes it's not a phase, but you, usually all of them will go through a phase of like 12, 14, 16 hour days where it's just nonstop. So there's a, a burnout aspect to it where it's just like, it's just not sustainable. It's not the human body and psyche and spirit wasn't really built to, to go that way. And there's the something that we spoke about earlier about the sort of loneliness, the inherent loneliness. Um, for some people with startups, it's often a very small team or like a team of one. And so there's this sort of me, me or us against the world aspect that you know can feed sort of a feeling of otherness and a feeling of isolation, which are big, you know, sort of um, uh, opportunities to develop depression. And then, you know, going through, uh, if it's successful, um, maybe having that extra bit of sort of loneliness at the top syndrome combined with now everyone around me is suspect as wanting something from me. So, you know, depression has a lot of different symptoms and, and sometimes those symptoms include anxiety, um, anger, you know, quick to anger and you know, because uh, uh, Freud got a lot of things wrong. He got some things right. One of the things where he talked about anger being um, uh, depression, often being anger turned inward. It's not always the case, but it's one of the things that you can see. So, you know, uh, a founder uh, can be in that place where, you know, um, if they had to be in order to get the success, if they had to be really aggressive, right? You know, like assertive. Maybe it started with assertiveness and it went to aggression or they're angry at competitors, or they're angry at, you know, because they thought they were gonna make 30 million and they only made 10 million, you know, like whatever it is. And so that's on the success side, and then on the, you know, it's a little easier to spot, you know, when it doesn't work out, you know, just things don't go well, you know, and it's so, it can be like a situational depression. Like I had it all and now I have none of it. And, and, and I'm still isolated and alone. And, you know, and even if I had a team, the team has scattered because they got to go find a job, you know. So um, you know, I think it's a, it's a very real thing and I think it's associated too. It's a little bit of this, um, the nature of the economy or the nature of the way people work now. There's a lot more, there's a lot more isolation. There's a lot more at stake. There's a lot more fast money that actually is available, you know, for an individual or for a couple of individuals to kind of stake out. Um, often at a young age, you know, where um, you may not yet have developed enough of the emotional coping skills to deal with anything and everything that comes with things taking off or things tanking. So um, that's my understanding of it.